On September 5th in the US, Nissan Motor Company will pull the cover off the 2018 LEAF, its first production vehicle that will steer and stop by itself, at least every once in a while. This week, Nissan loaded its version of this hot take onto some of its SUVs and brought them to New York for a test drive, the perfect place to put a new phase of autonomous technology through its paces. Driving in Manhattan requires a modicum of zen, something most New Yorkers don't have, at least not when they're in a car. Anything to help commuters tune out a little, to tick up the chill a few notches, is helpful for everyone traveling along the city's congested arteries. That's precisely what Nissan's new system, dubbed ProPilot Assist, is supposed to do. When activated by the push of a button and the setting of cruise control speed, it keeps the car in the center of a lane, steering through corners. At the same time, it maintains a safe distance to the vehicle ahead and will break all the way to a stop, the default state of most big Apple drives. It even resumes driving without a prompt provided that the automobile has only been still for less than three seconds. Basically, we're focused on fatigue reduction, explained Andy Christensen, senior manager of Nissan's Intelligent Transportation Systems Research. This suite of robot pilots is not, Christensen insisted, a self-driving system. The steering wheel senses feedback, not touch. If there isn't evidence of any physical tug, ProPilot escalates a series of warnings, including audio chimes and brake checks. Eventually, the vehicle will turn on its hazard lights and come to a stop mid lane. Given that humans are now able to land space scraping rockets back on the ground as if they were lawn darts, the new Leaf isn't exactly Vanguard stuff. Plenty of vehicles on the market do what Nissan's new system offers, if you can afford them, that is. The Leaf however, is intended to fill the autonomous capabilities gap that exists for machines that cost less than $40,000 or so. What Nissan's driving robots deliver is a passable impression of a Mercedes-Benz, or an Audi, Tesla, or Volvo. Passable, though, is the key word, Nissan's package isn't infallible. For one thing, it requires clear lane markers on each side to steer properly. On our 40-minute jaunt from Midtown Manhattan to its northern peak, painted lines were sporadic and the system often simply shut off, signaling its snooze with a chime. Meanwhile, it's designed to steer only up to a certain level of aggressiveness, the parameters set by forces of gravity. Coming into a series of twists a little bit hot, the robots couldn't keep us centered, even though the car was still plenty capable. We're trying to make it accessible and attainable. The problem is that the sensors and cameras that allow for a more seamless autonomous drive tend to be expensive, and thus remain squarely in the realm of luxury cars. Nissan's ProPilot uses just one camera to read the lane margins and one radar unit to measure distance to the vehicle in front. We're trying to make it accessible and attainable, said Brittany Tesmer, senior engineer on the project. In the gray area between analog driving and full autonomy, Nissan's new system represents a very light shade, which to me is the biggest drawback for it and all the other systems like it. It's only a mild iteration beyond adaptive cruise control, which comes standard on 25% of current vehicles, and lane departure warnings, which are available in one-third, according to Edmunds.com. When the driver is alert, the nanny steering and braking can be annoying, particularly if one likes to drift toward the inside of sweeping highway curves. If the driver isn't alert, it's even more grating. To be sure, that needling is necessary, but I've found myself wondering more than once, is this an autonomous step too small to be worth taking? Why not just wait to roll out something more fully cooked? There are always going to be people who just want to get in and wake up in their driveway, Tesmer said of the desire for full autonomy. Until the technology gets there, they don't want it. What the ProPilot seems suited for, most directly, is the smartphone. With one hand on the wheel, a driver can easily toggle through emails or watch fast and furious flicks. The system may not be self-driving, 
But in that case the driver certainly won't be either. Throughout the month of August, Tri-City Subaru put into action Subaru of America's corporate initiative Subaru Loves Learning by partnering with Idlehurst Elementary School. Tri-City Subaru was host to a drop-off site where people could donate needed school supplies to benefit Idlehurst Elementary. The campaign was nicknamed Pack and Outback. There was a great response, and a large number of school supplies were donated by Tri-City and many employees, several customers and members of the public. Everything from paper, notebooks, pencils, markers, scissors, glue, backpacks and even items such as packets of googly eyes and sparkles for art classes were donated. To promote awareness for the campaign, 5th grade art students at Idlehurst painted a special canvas banner, which was hung up in the Tri-City showroom. On Tuesday, Tri-City delivered the supplies to Idlehurst just in time for the 2017-2018 school year. Altogether, the back of the Subaru Outback was nearly filled with supplies. Subaru Corporation has selected a 19-inch size of the Yokohama Advent Sport V105 at the OE Fitment on the redesigned 2018 WRX STI, which went on sale in North America recently. The WRX STI is Subaru's performance offering, available in a four-door sedan layout. The 2018 revision features a handling upgrade that includes revised suspension tuning, a revised electronically controlled all-wheel drive system, upgraded Brembo performance brakes and 19-inch tires wheels for the first time. Power comes from 2.5-liter turbocharged boxer engine rated at 305 horsepower. The global tire fitment is 245 35th R1989W, which helps raise cornering performance, Subaru said, while the wheel's Y-shaped spoke design helps provide a more aggressive stance. YRC said it developed the Avant Sport V105 for high-powered premium cars, combining driving performance with comfort and safety characteristics. Pricing starts at $36,095, according to Subaru of America Inc. This is Yokohama's second OE fitment with Subaru for the V105. Earlier Subaru disclosed it was equipping its 2017 Impreza with the performance tires in Japan and Australia. There are no cosmetic changes to the 2018 model year version of the Subaru Forester, 
and thus these are photos of the last model year update, 2016, with just spec upgrades filtering to the petrol power 2.5 IS, turbo petrol 2.0 XT Premium, and turbo diesel 2.0 DS models. The trio of grades now adopt the company's Vision Assist technology pack, with blind spot monitoring, lane change assist, rear cross traffic alert, side view monitor and adaptive high beam headlights. Further, the EyeSight camera based forward monitoring system now includes lane keeping assistance. The latter lane keeping assistance system is only available on the diesel model with a CVT automatic transmission but not the manual version, and it's the only variant that sees a price change as part of the 2018 model year Forester update.